हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज पीयूष वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल थैंक यू फॉर ऑल योर सपोर्ट ड्यूरिंग योर टैक्स फाइलिंग वीडियोस योर सपोर्ट मींस अ लॉट टू मी फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन आई एम प्लानिंग टू मेक मोर वीडियोस टू हेल्प इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स लाइक मी ऑन हाउ टू गेट एडमिशंस हाउ टू गेट योर इंटर्नशिप्स एंड फुल टाइम्स एज वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट नेम्ड स्वप्निल ही वॉज माई बैचमेट फ्रॉम पर्ड्यू आई केम इन स्प्रिंग ट्वेंटी एंड ही केम इन फॉल ट्वेंटी वी बोथ ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम अ डिग्री इन कंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजमेंट so today let's listen to his experience and how was his journey at podu and in the us nice meeting you sapnil hello nice hello pirush nice meeting you i'm very happy to be on your channel and i would love to share my experience and my journey with your with your viewers so my audience wants to know like how has been your journey at podu and coming from pune i believe you are from pune so yes. coming from pune to a city like like country like usa how has been your experience how would you tell yes. about that a, a, so far it has been a terrific okay. experience uh, so, so i graduated from my undergrad degree in civil engineering from pune in 2017 and i had a, a few years of experience back in india and uh, that's when i decided to move to the us and so in 2021 i decided to prepare for my gre and i joined podio in uh, in the fall of 2022 uh after two semesters i got an internship i got a summer internship uh with a construction consulting company called stv here in new york and uh, just recently uh, last december last year in december i graduated from podio and i joined the same company as a full time employee uh after my graduation and here i am in new york again that's amazing to hear from sapnil one another question that i might have in this market specifically where people are finding it difficult to find jobs what would be your suggestion for our crowd like what should they mainly focus on because they are saying that there is a job shortage no one can find jobs so what would you say to our audience yes uh, you are right pirush the market has been very difficult particularly for students international students like mm -hmm. us uh, and it's very difficult to find internships and full time positions right now so uh, the way it worked for me was uh, connections i know it's a very generic advice that people give to make more connections to use linkedin but uh, what worked for me was using uh, linkedin to its fullest potential uh, what what i used to do was i used to apply to positions and uh, uh used to reach out to specific people in that company in that particular location mm -hmm. and uh, you have to be very sure that uh, you don't leave even a single employee left uh, and just uh, reach out to all the people in that office and uh, i'm very confident that if you do this uh, there, there is someone who will respond and who will forward your uh, resume to the hiring manager and that's what worked for me and uh, a referral worked for me and then after that it just depends on you how you perform in the interview what's your experience and how has been your practice that's been a great advice because even i believe that networking is everything there's nothing without people so it's not just the job applications but you have to reach out to people and use linkedin to the full potential because in india we do, we are not used to that also i want to tell all of my viewers that sapnil's name has been picked up in the h1b lottery system this year so congrats for that thanks so happy to hear that and just wanted to know what what the h1b visa process looks like so if you can tell our audience that would be a great thing sure uh so yeah just uh, the h1b results for this year just came out uh, yesterday and fortunately my name got picked up in in the lottery so typically how this works is that us uh, us government has a limited number of h1b visas to give to the immigrants so every year they have a total of uh, 85000 uh, 85000 h1b visas to give and and of course the number of applicants usually exceeds those number of slots so how they decide is they conduct a lottery in order to figure out which applications will go forward and uh, so they conduct this lottery as international students you get three three chances to feature in the h1b lottery uh, so how this works is your company your your company's legal team 
uh, files the H1B on your behalf and your name, your registration goes through uh, uh, a lottery and if your name gets picked in the lottery, uh, the legal team goes further and processes your application further and typically within three months you get an H1B in your hand uh, and usually every year uh, you, you, your H1B status starts from October. So that's how it works. And uh, but the downside of this uh, of this H one B is that you have to pay seven percent tax. Seven percent of additional. You have to pay seven percent tax. Seven percent of additional taxes for. So that's a good news for me that my company didn't file for a H-1B visa because I wouldn't be paying the extra taxes. This was just on a lighter note. I'm really happy for you that your H-1B was picked. I don't know what the next processes are. If you can tell us about that, do you have to go to India for a stamping or I've heard the news that Biden administration is working on making it online from the US. So do you have any updates on that? Uh, so I'm not sure if, uh, if the new scheme of H-1B stamping in India, in the US has been implemented yet, but uh, why you need H-1B stamping, uh, let me just explain that. Uh, so if you, if you get an H-1B, if you are on an H-1B status, you get that status for the next three years. And uh, typically you can stay in the US for the next three years without having to stamp your passport for that. But basically the US visa works as an entry ticket to the US. So in case if you leave the US, and want to come back to the US, uh, want to re-enter the US, you, sh you have to have the H-1B stamp on your passport. So that's why you you have once you leave the US, you have to uh, uh, you have to arrange an interview, uh, schedule an interview, H-1B visa interview, and uh, you have to give an interview, and that's when they stamp your passport, and that's when you, that's when you can re-enter the US. That was so good to know from Sapnil. I personally didn't do much research about this, so. Thank you for sharing this for, for our audience. My last question for you would be as someone who is studying their bachelor's in civil engineering from India, what should be the next steps that they take and what is the scope of construction industry in the US? What type of roles can they expect when they come in the US and how is the general market like? Should they come to should they even come to the US or just stay in India and start working there? What do you think? I personally believe that uh, the construction market in in the us is uh, quite healthy right now uh, personally i haven't seen anyone any one of uh, my friends or anyone from my batch without an offer letter uh, so yeah i could say that uh, us in us in general has a lot for the construction industry there is always something uh, going on some construction going on whether it's uh, whether it's uh, rehabilitation or new construction something they always need the construction construction people so you have a lot of opportunity as someone in construction to be in the u.s uh, typically i would advise uh, new graduates new undergrad graduates in india to like have some experience back in india uh, understand a few concepts how it works on the field and that will really help you not only in your uh, in getting in not only in improving your resume but also in understanding your master's course a lot better so i would recommend typically at least uh, a one or two years of experience back in india before making that decision of coming here in the us uh, after coming to the us you have a lot of opportunity here uh, you either get to work from the contractor side or you can be from the owner's side working for a consultant so if you if you work for a contractor, uh, generally you you it it would be expected that you would be on the field, or you could be in the office working for scheduling or estimation. Uh, if you happen to work for a consultant, uh, you will be representing the owner on the field. Uh, again, you would be uh, either you would be working on a field, you would be uh, representing the owner, their interest, and uh, basically it would be a supervisory role for you. Uh, to ensure whether the contractor is performing well on the field according to the according to the, uh, the contract uh, so yeah right now the company which i am working for it's a consultant so we are 
we are representing the owner on the field. That's great to know. Like as Sapnil mentioned, we have a lot of roles for civil engineers, so definitely that's a decision that you can make to come to the US. Personally, I didn't have much experience, so I'm coming fresh out of my graduation. But as Sapnil mentioned, having an experience is a really positive thing because you get to know the concepts and it's easier to implement concepts on the field. And like, how's New York? Like, are you enjoying it compared to a dull city like West Lafayette? <laughs> yes. How's been your experience? Here? New York has been fantastic till now. Uh, I was here last year as well for my summer internship, like I mentioned. But that time I didn't have my friends here with me. This time, uh, this time I have made a couple of very good friends here, and uh, it's nice. It's nice being here. New York, personally, my experience has been uh, that if you are here alone, the city ensures that you feel very lonely and it makes you feel bad a lot. But if you have good friends here. The 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 experience is completely opposite. The vibe changes. The vibe changes. And, uh, it makes it's made it makes it twice better <laughs> as you if as compared to if you are yeah. here alone. So yeah. So that was Sapnil, my friend from Purdue. We want to we all thank you for your time and your advices to young engineers who are maybe pursuing their civil engineering or planning to pursue their civil engineering. So again, it was great meeting you, Sapnil. Thank you for your time. Thanks, and Piyush. I would I would. Uh, I would like to wish all your viewers a uh, uh, best of luck in their journey ahead and uh, I would request them to like, comment and subscribe to your channel. Thanks a lot. So guys, until next time.